Donald Trump, during his Fox News interview, was asked about his bragging recently of his cognitive uh, assessment test and how amazing he was at it. And um, here is how he responded to Chris Wallace bringing up the fact that eh, maybe not the toughest test. Who is more competent? Who's got whose mind is sounder? Biden beats you in that. Well, I tell you what, uh, let's take a test. Let's take a test right now. Let's go down. Joe and I will take a test. Let him take the same test that I took. Incidentally, I took the test, too, when I heard that you passed it. Yeah, how did it's you not do the hard, Well, it's not the hardest test. No, but the it last... It has a picture, and it says, what's that? And it's an elephant. No, no, no. You see, that's all misrepresentation. Well, that's what it was on the web. It's all misrepresentation. Because, yes, the first few questions are easy. But I'll bet you couldn't even answer the last five questions. I'll bet you couldn't. They get very hard, the last five well, questions. Well, one of them was count back from 100 by 7. And let me tell you. You couldn't answer. You couldn't answer. All right. What's the question? Many of the questions. I'd get you the test. I'd like to give it. But right. I guarantee you that Joe Biden could not answer those questions. Okay. okay? Uh, you, and you I answered about- all 35 questions. Correct. So you got in here. But at one point, Chris Wallace, he wasn't on camera. He says 93. Like he started to do it. <laughs> he, he So he threw out the, the test thing because he seems to not know that we can see the test. We've shown it and we're about to again. Um, he said, you you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. Yeah, the, the first ones are pretty easy. And look, admittedly, yeah, identifying a rhino, not the toughest thing. And of course, it comes in different varieties. The animals change from, from oh, one to one. Oh, rhino so, ant next to a camel? Oh, super hard, no, that's dude. a raccoon. What are you talking about? So, okay, <laughs> admittedly, those are not that tough. But Trump says, but the last ones, those are tough. He said the last five, actually. So I decided, why not clip out exactly the last five? And you'll see it's reading a list of digits, forwards or backwards, tough, very tough, reading a list of letters and tapping your hand whenever you say the letter A, subtracting sevens from a hundred in order, repeating a sentence back that someone says to you, identifying what the connection between two things is. For instance, banana and orange, what connects those two things? (laughs) Train and bicycle what's the connection delayed recall i'm gonna say some words you pause for a minute and then say them back to me and then orientation what date is it what year is it mr president what city are you in donald trump that's the last question he specifically identified these as so tough that he said chris wallace couldn't answer what year it is or what city he's in this test is truly just to see if pop pop needs to be put in a home yes that's all it is 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 the it is what a family sits down with pop pop and they're like all right we love you so much but you know it's getting a lot for us to have you here in the home you know and uh let's just just do this test and see well maybe we should get like that's what it is this is not a presidential test this is uh, and like (laughs) Talk about falling into your own DNA test. He like he's he should know. He set the trap for Elizabeth Warren and she fell right into it. Now he set this cognitive test for himself and he's fallen right into his own trap. He's losing it. Yeah. Um, but also, let me just say, like, I've tried to find whether there's a confirmation of if this is the test, because they say that he took this cognitive test, but they haven't necessarily released his exact test. But just hearing him respond to Chris Wallace's, well, the first one, there's yes. a, you know, you have to identify an uh, uh, elephant. He doesn't say, no, you don't. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that wasn't the test I took. Right. Are you kidding me? Or he doesn't say, well, the last one is counting back from seven from 100. He's like, well, we should take it right now. His re- reaction to Chris Wallace completely confirms that that exactly right. was the test. You're 100% right. And not <laughs> enough people have, have acknowledged that. You're, you're 100% right. Um, but. As tough as that test was, I want to give our audience one additional test. I'm going to play you a video of Trump talking about the test from a week or two ago, and I want you to see if you can listen to him say this and not imagine Sarah Cooper again doing (laughs) him talking about the (laughs) test. I couldn't and still can't, but let's see if you can pass the test. I proved I was all there because I I aced it. I aced the test. And he should take the same exact test, a very standard test. I took took it at Walter Reed uh, Medical Center uh, in front of doctors, and uh, they were very surprised. They said, that's an unbelievable thing. Rarely does anybody do what you just did. That was, again, the elephant test. And I cannot help but picture her with the scribbles on the image. But anyway, yeah. He... Can, I, can I just say, though, in that, in that clip, he's about to speak uh, at a podium. Was, was that him at a podium? I think that was just B-roll. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He well, he wasn't. He wasn't. No, he was just being interviewed by Sean Hannity, I believe, Got at that it. point. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.